monitoring. By the end of this training, you'll be able to use the monitoring tab to monitor the network environment. Here I am in my 1519 appliance and we'll just go over all of these settings right here. First, we have the security logs. So any security incidents you'll have regarding the policy will be shown here. You can run queries, refresh, clear the logs and other cool stuff. We have system logs. If you were to have any external log servers, you'll be able to configure them right here. Notifications. So personally, I get these notifications on my Watchtower app. So it's really cool. Active devices. These are all the devices that are currently connected to my Quantum Spark. Wireless active devices. I have two right here paired mobile devices. So if I were to have any uh, users who are using Watchtower, I would have seen them right here. In my case, I've reset my appliance, but if you saw the Watchtower video, you saw the device was there. Infected device, currently I don't have any, I'm good. VPN tunnels, if you were to have any VPN tunnels, you would see information about the tunnel right here. Connections. I can see connections going through my device. Access points. If you have the wireless networks enabled, you can go ahead and scan networks in your area. If we'll go to monitoring itself, here we can see information about the current connections. We have a breakdown of the different applications that were being used. I can go and switch to categories instead, and I can see uh, instant messaging, general search engine, and so on. I'll go back to applications. We can change to sites, users. In this case, I don't have user awareness, so it's just 100% uh, same thing. This is nice. You can see traffic over time, reports. Um, I can go to demo here as well. And here, just have a little bit more information, so it just looks nicer. I'll go back. And if I'll click here, it can also take me to do some troubleshooting, meaning to show me monitoring about the actual CPU memory and disk usage. I can hit refresh. And I can start seeing those live graphs about the memory usage and CPU usage and also disk here below as well. Click on reports. You get nice reports about the traffic that was being used. Really nice can be useful as well. You can print it straight from here. Really, really nice. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.